Okay. okay? Yeah, whenever you're ready. Okay, I'm from Chicago and we came out to California when I was about six years old. From Tri-Cities, Washington. I moved to Los Angeles in 2010. <laughs> I'm Katie McGee and I'm from LA. Um, my name is Derek Schiller. I'm from Wisconsin, Janesville, Wisconsin. How long have you been living in Los Angeles? Five years. Okay, so what was the original thing that prompted you to move to Los Angeles? Um, you know, I've been thinking about this a lot since we decided to do this, and, you know, I tried to come up with some, like, unique answer, <laughs> but it is not that. It is the, the rich and famous dream. I'm really fortunate that I grew up here. You know, people move here to do what I'm doing, so the fact that I don't have to move and I don't have to, you know, start over anywhere, I, I kind of find comfort in that. I lived for probably the most amount of time in Los Feliz, right at the base of Griffith Park, and I lived by myself for a really long time there, and it was like a really um, big growth period for myself. Um, just like going on auditions all the time and like coming home to nothing and nobody with all this disappointment in like a tiny, tiny little bedroom was all I had. And I would just like go into into the park and go up to the observatory and just sit there and just, just say, please, <laughs> please. Trying to get settled, I didn't like it because it was difficult to just settle into a completely different place. But at the same time, I knew that it would pan out and be much better, and it did. My dad used to say, it's a luxury to be a musician. And I think that's absolutely true today. It's a luxury, because you're making your living at something that you love. How do you satisfy your creative urges, your, your creative desires? How do you get satisfaction? How do you use the gifts you've been given, while at the same time uh, having enough money to live? I always come and tried to balance playing jazz with, with having this other studio career. And the studio career, for me personally, gives me the, I, guess, I would say it's the privilege to play jazz because you don't really make any money playing jazz. You know, sometimes I just do things just to see if I can make an extra buck, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Totally. Fair I came home and I actually had another job lined up and I came home and I woke up the morning I was supposed to go into that job an hour before I was supposed to be there and I said no I can't come in and ever since then I've been doing music full-time and you know getting back into performing and um, being raised in LA has definitely you know pushed me on this path although I'm going <laughs> Absolutely, I'm fine with that, so <laughs> I'm totally fine with it. Everybody who moves here and who wants to be like in the entertainment industry has this small little thing inside them that just like made them drive across the country to be here, you know? So if you don't lose that and have the faith that it's going to get better and you're going to find the thing that you're supposed to be doing here, then it's just a matter of time. Your environment does impact how you feel, and I think creatively I feel different living out here. The feeding off of the creative energy is the best thing about this city. Being in both music and film, LA is the perfect place for that. You get the best of both worlds here. When you're in the arts, there's no limit to it, you know. You, you don't ever get to a point where you know all of it. It keeps you young, you know, and it keeps you feeling like you're alive and you're doing something. I feel like LA is a little bit of like a religion. Like you need to just decide and, and like have faith in this thing that it, you're gonna eventually be doing what you're supposed to be doing. You can decide what your LA is.